is three. All right, so I'm going to say car, science, doll. All right, that's my one, two, three. You choose three. Any three you choose. Number eight says, what kinds of objects can you find in museums? What kinds of objects? All right, the next sentence says, a museum is a place devoted to study of having artistic, scientific, or historical value. So the kinds of objects you could find are artistic, scientific, historical. So it may be like Ms. Spires was talking about earlier, like dinosaur bones would be scientific. Artistic may be a painting or a sculpture. Historical may be something from a war, okay? So you could find those types of objects. Many special things can be found in museums. True or false? All right, so let's infer. We know it's a neat place to visit. They have all of these different types. They're devoted to studying all of these different things of value. So is it, um, are there many special things there? We can infer from what we've read and what we already know. Yes, there are special things found at a museum. So true. And on the back, you are going to code the words as best as you can. Make sure you can read them to a study buddy. It's more important to read them than to code them. All right, you need to be able to read and answer the questions. Also, reread your decodable, okay? I may choose to put a couple questions on your test from there. So practice reading it. If you're still having trouble reading it, first read it with me on the video, then read it again by yourself. Make sure you're reading it at least one time with you reading it to someone, okay? Not every time listening to Miss Spires read it. All right, study for your spelling test. Go over your sight words and review them. And read your decodable. All right, do your very best. I've got special, some fun things for our boys and girls that are doing their work. Keep it up.